So the turbines come down and first thing I've noticed is this. I don't know if you can see, well that's come loose and that's kind of worn a big groove in there. It's not a problem, I'll have to get a spanner and take that off. That's the first thing. Second thing, this needs fixing. Uh, that was actually in, but only by a couple of uh, couple of wires. So that's obviously not good enough. So that needs stripping. I need to get a new one of these uh, terminal block. Uh, I'll replace these as well. See that one there has got a bit of a uh, trying to zoom in. On. That one's got a bit of meltage, so they need replacing. Uh, The bolts actually came off both sides. So I've no idea how this thing stayed on, but it did. But the chain was holding the motor in. Now let's just show the other side. That's the other side where the bolts come out completely. Uh, there's no damage to this. This looks a bit messy, but all I wanted to do was cover those wires at the end to make sure they weren't getting stripped. Uh, so basically, I need to cut another thread, uh, cut another piece of M8 bolt like this, and I need to buy, uh, I don't have any local stores that sell thread locker, so I'm just going to buy some uh, thick super glue and super glue the nuts on, and then that should be fine. This, uh, let's go on the side. This is still super solid and this was a genius idea and thanks to the people who uh, put in money to buy this second bearing because I was just going to go for one at first but the combination of having two and also those strips there that go all the way to the back just make it super solid even though it's uh, sometimes it shakes like crazy it, it's not going to fall apart apart from these bits but I should have learnt my lesson on that by now so I've definitely got to fix that properly and get it back up and running. Uh, with regards to this, these, uh, it's a collar, I'll try and zoom in. It's a collar with nuts welded on it and they're rusty inside. So uh, may get rid of this, may keep it on there, I don't know, but whatever I do, uh, might need to grind off these nuts uh, and weld them back on. Uh, it is in the pipeline eventually if I can get two people to help, because I can't really do anything physical, to extend the tower by that much, that's a five foot piece of 63 mil uh, mild steel bar with like a 2.5 mil wall, but that's the same size as the rest of the tower. But you can see uh, mostly the wind comes from this direction. So half the time it's blocked by the trees and then the house is right behind. When it comes from an angle there or there, that's when we seem to get the most juice. Uh, but those trees are only, I don't know, it's about two feet lower than the actual turbine. And with, with the tower only being 20 feet and the blades are essentially five feet from the centre uh, to the end of the blade, because the hub adds about six inches either side. So this point of the blade, is only really 15 feet off the ground. And if those trees are 15 feet, then you can see uh, that's not great. Also, uh, these some of these need replacing. These are very cheap from Tool Station and they do last a fair while and they do do a good job. Uh, you can see that one's obviously a bit newer. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna get that sorted out. Uh, I don't think there's any loose nuts or anything here, but I'll check tighten them up and then uh, we'll get it back and running again. Sweet. So the first thing I've got to do is spray a load of WD-40 in there and also in here because I do want to take, uh, well there may come a time I need to take the blades off and they're stuck on there. So I'm going to spray a load of this in there and then that can be soaking in then the next job is to replace that. There should be a bolt in there, but it's come out. You can see there's one just there. That bolt goes through into a hole in the shaft. So 
I'm going to flip the blades up and spray a load in there for starters. Annoyingly, it looks like the bolt snapped off in there. So that could be a problem, it might have to be drilled out. You can actually spray these to make any rusted screws easier to get out. Right, I'm going to leave that settling for half an hour and then we can crack on. Just going to spray these. Spray the turnbuckles as well. Also, I may want the tail to come off at some stage and that's super stuck on, so we're going to have some in there as well. Yeah, I'm going to let that settle in for a while and then I'll come back and uh, start by trying to take the, those set of blades off to check how much damage there is to the shaft. So that's those replaced with nice new ones and what I've found is best to do is if you're doing three wires is to leave five on here because I found if these are too close together particularly if you're pushing over over the 30 amps through there then they'll basically can end up melting together and causing a short so I'm going to leave it like that uh, these you can see they need tidying up I've got my uh, wire trimmers so I'm just going to trim the end off they connect to here these are just uh, because this wasn't long enough I wanted to make sure the cable that came out the back of the uh, one kilowatt motor is run out of the way. You see there's not a lot of clearance between the cable and the motor so it's all cable tied on there out of the way and then when I redo the connections I'm going to cable tie it on here. Sweet! So that's the motor side of the wiring sorted out and that's the tower side. All the wires are being crimped and cleaned up to make sure they've got nice fresh copper uh, I'm going to call that a day and I'm going to fix this in the next video. So I'll see you then. Cheers.